What's up? Why to the T, oob? <laughs> I don't know, that just, that totally sounded creative in my head when I thought about it, but once I said it, it just sounded ridiculous. <laughs> Forgive me for that. So today, I'm watching some TV. Uh, it was TBS as it was, I was just catching some reruns of old shows, just some general funny stuff, and the devil's advertisement comes on little advertisement with these two angels in heaven trying to get themselves some dessert comes on. If you haven't seen it, it's advertising something like this. Ready to eat cheesecake filling. Oh my god. Me, being the stupid consumer that I am, I see this and I'm like, oh my god. Gosh, that looks fantastic. I must have some. So, I like go jump in the shower. I throw a hoodie on. I, I didn't even put a shirt on. I throw some like athletic shorts on and some flip flops and I go taking off to the grocery store. I'm still carless by the way, so I have to walk, but I only live a block away. So the exercise will do me good, especially after buying the Philadelphia cheesecake filling, ready to eat cheesecake filling. And so I'm up there and I'm like so excited. I'm like running. I'm just like, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm gonna get some cheesecake and it's gonna be ready to eat. I like run to the grocery store and get this cheesecake filling. But you know what they should say in the commercial? That it doesn't come complete. Well, you have to buy accessories. You have to buy the freaking crust. I picked up the tub at the grocery store, and for a second I thought, hmm, this looks like a crust. I don't really need to buy a crust. <sighs> and then I thought that it would be pretty pathetic if I just brought the tub back and ate out of the tub, and then somebody came over and looked in my fridge, and they were like, you're eating out of a tub of cheesecake filling, and then I'd be like, yeah, I'm pretty sad like that. So. Anyway, I'm just gonna add that the cheesecake was freaking awesome. It was amazing. But, while at the grocery store, I noticed something different. Um, it's like an epidemic going around. I'm not sure if it's just this town. Tonight, it was extremely prominent at the grocery store. The common persons involved would be a female between the ages of 30 to 45. Although, I'm not exactly sure of their actual age or how high the age limit goes because they've had so many procedures done by plastic surgeons, I don't know their real age. I can't even take a gander. I don't have a clue. They look like they could have been born in 1910, for all I know. Maybe we should get some carbon dating done. I don't know. Maybe flake a little skin off and, you know, get the scientist to run a test. Because that's really the only way you're going to know. Their skin is so tight and firm, yet plastic looking. Let me explain to you what you have to have to be one of these women. You have to have a few things. Number one, you have to have the orange tan. Yes, in the middle of February, you have to be orange, okay? Second thing you have to have, you have to have a size zero waist. Now. Sometimes women have a size zero waist. Uh, in this case, most of the time, it's not really a natural size zero waist. Their body isn't naturally meant to be that thin. They just are. Third thing you have to have, you have to have the long bleach blonde hair. It has to be really long and really wavy. A lot of times accompanied by big sunglasses, but that's a whole different story. And it's really fake looking hair. Another thing that you have to have is, you have to have the double D breasts, okay? Now, they're pretty nice. Double D breasts can be nice. On these ladies, though, they usually are insanely too big. I mean, they stick out to here. These ladies are like, hello? And I mean, they're huge, enormous. The last thing you have to have, and, and this is the icing on the cake. This is, this is like the icing on the cake. You have to have the lips. Y'all know which lips I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Angelina Jolie-inspired lips. 
they look something like this. Like you walk around like this. Whose lips look like this naturally? It's just ridiculous. You know, if you've got sexy pouty lips naturally, that's kind of sexy on a girl. But when you're... <laughs> When you're these women and you've got these lips that like they're engorging your face, you just look ridiculous. Ridiculous! But ladies, you've really got to be more careful about these things that are going on here. <laughs> Saw six different ladies and this was going on with all six of them. Six of them now. Um, they were wearing jeans. They were wearing lower rise jeans and uh... Their underpanties were, were peeping out. They were coming out for a little visit. We're not talking just a little bit, though. And, and, and some of these ladies weren't even wearing, like, thongs or bikini underwear, even remotely, you know, interesting underwear. Some of them were wearing granny panties. Anyway, these things were sticking out an enormous amount. I'm talking, like, this much. And I'm thinking, you know, they probably don't know. Nobody's probably ever said anything to them. At least I hope they don't know. Because in a more, like, sexually charged atmosphere, maybe like a club or something that can be sexy, in the grocery store on a Sunday evening, nah. That's what was going on at the grocery store. I just, I think it's ridiculous. And I blame TV. You know, get all these abnormal looking people off. I understand TV needing to be aesthetically pleasing, but I know just from going to auditions, they don't cast normal people anymore. Like, everybody looks insane. They look so abnormal. You know, stop casting the models on every TV show. You know, it used to be just the soap operas and, like, the nighttime soaps. Now it's everything. Every show now is just, like, they look like they came off the boat in Brazil and they were birthed directly from Angelina Jolie's hips. These women and people, men in general, too, everybody. I'm so sick of people feeling bad about themselves because they're c comparing themselves to people on TV. Well, let me tell you something. These people on TV, how many of them do you think are natural? Probably not a lot. And even so, they look a lot better on TV. I'm just so sick of, especially women, feeling bad about themselves. Like, feeling like they're not pretty enough. You're gorgeous. You're pretty. Don't let anybody take that away from you. Embrace being a woman and looking womanly. You look fine. You look beautiful. You know? Like... I think people should be healthy. I think people should, you know, be somewhat healthy. I think people should, you know, eat somewhat healthy. But stop putting these unobtainable goals in front of yourselves and trying to put yourself to something that you think is attractive when in reality you look ridiculous. Let me just tell you, these people look ridiculous. Ah. I just, that's my opinion. Pretty and beautiful the way you are. Just leave it at that. You know what I say? I say you go to the grocery store, I say you get you some Philadelphia ready to eat cheesecake filling, buy your crust too because you're gonna need it, and I say you fix you some damn cheesecake. Sit down, have a piece of cheesecake, and chill out for a second. Okay? I'm serious. I'm so sick of this ridiculousness. Stop. <laughs>